All right, y'all, we're gonna um, do your throwing routine that you're gonna uh, do for this season. So here we go. Come a little closer. First one you're gonna do is called wrist snaps. So you can just put your glove right here and you're just gonna pop your wrist like that. All right, the next one you're gonna do, obviously when you're throwing, you'll do more of these throws, but I'm just showing you what you're gonna do. The next one you're gonna go down to a knee. It's called kneeling power. For this one, you're just gonna get your front knee up. Okay, you're gonna go ahead and set your front elbow to your target. You're gonna get the ball up and out like this. You're gonna wanna turn your throwing hand wrist away from you. So if you were wearing a watch, you could see the time. So you're gonna go here. When you throw it, I want you to finish out front over that front knee. This is what it looks like. Okay, after that, you're gonna come to your feet. On your feet, standing power. So you're gonna go ahead and stride out to where you would normally stride to throw. Okay, a little bit wider than your shoulders, just like this. Same thing as kneeling power, you're gonna set the front side, set this to where you wanna, uh, your throwing hand back to where you wanna get. Now the difference in this one, you're gonna push off of that back leg, and when you throw it, I wanna see your back leg actually come over like you're finishing. So this is what it looks like. Make sure you get good finish. Just like that. Okay, so you'll do those. The next one you're gonna do is jump backs. Okay, so for jump backs, you're jumping back and you're feeling yourself stack into that back leg so you can really get that good and push, good push and drive from the ground. So this is what jump backs looks like. Jump back, drive, and throw. Same thing, you're letting that back leg finish. You jump back, throw, okay? The next one is throws on the run, okay? I don't care if you're infielder, outfielder, catcher, whatever, I want you to be athletic, so I want everybody to do this too. So you're just gonna take a couple steps up the foul line like this and throw it on the run. One more. Okay. Now you're gonna ease your way back a little bit. Okay. You're gonna take a couple now and you're just gonna shuffle and throw. So shuffle, throw. Shuffle, throw. After you do that some, you should be at a good distance. Now you're gonna do specialty by position. So if you're an infielder, okay? If you're an infielder, you're gonna get in ground ball field position, like you're fielding it, the ball's in your hand. Gather, throw, and follow. Okay, so that's what infielders are doing. Okay, also infielders, when you, throw me that ball back. When you receive the ball, infielders, you're gonna do one receive where you catch and tag. The next one you'll catch and relay. So this is what that'll look like when you receive. Remember on the tag, you don't wanna go get it. You wanna let the momentum of the ball work, catch it out front, pop tag. And then the relay looks like this. Okay, if you're an outfielder during this time, you're gonna do two different things. The first one, you're gonna act like you're fielding a ground ball to throw somebody out at a base. So I'm here, crow hop, and throw. So make sure you get your legs underneath you and crow hop, okay? One more time on that one. So here, And then the next one you're gonna do, as an outfielder, you're gonna act like you're getting behind a fly ball. You can just put the ball in your glove. You're gonna buzz your feet behind it. Crow hop and throw. If you're a catcher, you're gonna get down in your catcher stance, okay? You're gonna act like you're throwing somebody out at second base. So you're here, gain ground, and throw. After that, you're gonna back up to your max distance and you're gonna long toss. So you can back up some. 
This is how I want the long toss to look like. Start back, and you're gonna get a running start into a shuffle and throw it on a line as hard and far as you can. So you're gonna get a running start, shuffle, and throw. Your max distance will be as long as you can throw that ball, okay? 10 throws on a line, and if you are one hopping your partner, that is your max distance, as far as you can throw. Lastly, he'll work back in. When you work back in, the last thing you're gonna do, all positions, is quick hands, quick feet. So you're back close like this. You're gonna throw and catch. Get athletic, two hands, quick hands, quick feet. And you'll do about 10 or 15 of those. And that's your throwing routine.